Okay. So learning about now is the distributive property, and we're going to learn about this in three sections. Section one is going to be called the rainbow property. I'm going to give you an example of when to use this. So what we have here is five. Remember that a number outside of a parenthesis means multiply. So we have five times two x plus three. If you're following your order of operations, you should do what's in the parentheses first. That's what order of operations says. If you look within your parentheses though, 2x plus 3, these are not like terms. You cannot add them together. So we cannot do what's in the parentheses. So instead, we can go from parentheses then to multiplication, which is right here. And this says take 5 times everything that is in the parentheses. This means we want to take 5 times 2x and 5 times 3. This is where you can kind of see where it gets the rainbow nickname. You're going to rainbow in the multiplication. We are going to distribute through the multiplication of 5 to the 2x and the 3. So this easily becomes 5 times 2x and 5 times 3. Now we can do each of those. 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 3 is 15. And there is your final answer of 10x plus 15. We will do one more example. This time we'll put a variable on the outside. In this case, once again, we cannot do what's in the parentheses first. We cannot add those. We cannot take 3y plus 6. They are not like terms. So we move from parentheses to our multiplication. This means we want to take 2x times 3y and 2x times 6. So this step here is for those who maybe want to write this out and see it. I did it on the last problem. If you can do the multiplication, great, go ahead. But some of us need to write out what we're doing. We are taking 2x times 3y and 2x times 6. Now, let's multiply the numbers first. 2 times 3 is 6, and x times y is just xy. 2x times 6 is 12x. And there is our final answer. And that is how you do the distributive property, aka the part 1, the rainbow property.